Welcome to You F***ed Up Now What? Or short... Fun. Just fun. The Y and W is silent. Welcome to fun. You F***ed Up Now What? Today we're gonna take a look at out of focus stuff. Like my background or sometimes myself. And I would say let's right dive into it, shall we? Who doesn't know it? You're shooting for a new video and you're doing this one perfect, gorgeous cinematic shot of you playing your favorite console. And suddenly the autofocus mistakes the background for the beauty in the foreground. And you will be like, no! Okay, by all seriousness, we all know that moment when you just noticed you f***ed up pretty bad and that's why you're here. So how could this happen? What went wrong? There are two scenarios why you f***ed up at the first place. Either way, it was really your fault and you really did f*** up by pulling the focus manually. Or it was the fault of your autofocus system. And why the autofocus system, which is auto and should just work out of the box, isn't mistaking the background for the foreground, well, to explain this we should use another video so because how autofocus systems are working is it's it, it's it's pretty pretty complicated to explain and especially if you're not a scientist like me so we're not gonna do that i just try to to shrink it down to the essentials okay my part is now to explain you autofocus within 30 seconds i will never ever actually be able to do that but editor please give me 30 seconds thank you Autofocus. Okay, there is a pretty big chance that your autofocus system is using a passive autofocus method with contrast. Uh, what it does is actually it moves the focus point to a point where it detects a high contrast, moves over that point and back until it finds the highest contrast. Highest contrast in the image can be or usually is an edge, an edge of a subject and the background. It's pretty big contrast between my red and the background. But yet, there is a chance that something is blurry in the foreground or you're doing a movement and the autofocus system is detecting something else in the background, like my light or my wall. So it mistakes the background for the foreground. Wow, that actually wasn't that bad. However, now we know how you f***ed up by trying not to f*** up by using an automated system, so how can we fix it in post? Because we did this gorgeous cinematic shot and haven't checked the focus and, and went back home and are not able to go back to the place where we shot it in the first place just because we are lazy. So let's jump right into Premiere Pro, my preferred editing software, and we try to fix it. So, Greeny at the desk, are you ready? I hope so. Oh wow, that was the first time you ever heard my name. Hi, I'm Greeny, uh, misspelled, but that's not important because the only name you need to remember is Greenbox and that's the channel we are on right now. So I'm the editor and I'm supposed to tell you how to save the mess we did earlier. That's the footage and oh boy, um, let me tell you one thing, you're not gonna make this face sharp. It's not gonna happen. This is beyond fixable for the tools we have. I would suggest go back and reshoot. And if it's not possible to reshoot, think about not using this uh, footage. So instead of making this face sharp, I decided to just go ahead and create another sample footage. If we take a closer look, there is no shift in focus, so we are good to go. We see, all right, the focus is somewhere between the wall and my camera setup, and my face is slightly out of focus. In Premiere Pro, there is an effect called Unsharp Mask. Don't let you fool by the name unsharp mask. It sounds like it's doing the opposite, but it's actually doing what we need. So we go ahead, apply this effect onto our footage. You can now start to increase or decrease the numbers and look at your footage and see if it does anything you desire. Let's ramp amount up to 200 or 500 even and ramp up radius. Oh boy. 
for me, I find myself mostly going for an amount of like 150 and a radius of like uh, 1.5. But this really depends on the footage um, you're shooting. So I highly encourage you to just go ahead, ramp those values up and find out what works best for you. And in this case, we could even go higher. Let's say, let's go for 250. So now it's definitely getting grainy and we can use the threshold to work against this. I have to say, actually the face looks pretty okay right now. The only problem, we sharped everything else which already was sharp too. That's why we now finally apply a mask to it in our effect controls panel under unsharp mask we have the mask tools and I'm just going to draw a new mask around my face. Hey, I know we're in the middle of something, but I have to say something important. I think we haven't said the word for a pretty long time. So also make sure to subscribe if you like the video or me or whatever, but hey, please subscribe. I need to feel better by having subscribers, you know, otherwise I would just up and nobody would ever notice. So please subscribe if you like the video. So, okay, I guess that's all. We go back to how to fix the mess, I guess. The mask is far from perfect, but for the moment that shall do it. The hair looks like it has more structure now and the eyes look sharper. And that's actually what we want. This effect isn't magically um, re creating the image and setting the focus. It's actually looking for contrast in the image and is and is pumping this contrast up. It's like autofocus in reverse. I'm pretty happy with the result. Uh, I would go on and start to grade my face so I get rid of those uh, lighter areas which look like I'm sick right now. If you have a slide of image like this, go ahead, try to unsharp mask it and uh, if you do a good job, nobody will notice. I guess that, that concludes uh, this video. Uh, thanks for watching. See ya. Bye. Uh, all right. Uh, let's get this over with. Oh. Um, out of focus. Um... Hi there. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel and like the video if you like the video. And as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Keep failing I'm coming back for more fun. So, yeah, subscribe. Do the YouTube thing. Bye.